friends. Uh, this is just going to be a test live because I'm trying to be able to go live on both my Facebook channel and my YouTube channel at the same time. So I really won't be paying attention to comments this morning. Again, it's just a test. Uh, it looks like it's working right now. I have two computers up, uh, two different cameras on. So yeah, I'm not the brightest tool in the shed when it comes to technology, but I'm going to give it a go. All right, so what I'm going to be making is a bow, and I have a picture of a wreath that I made, and I had a customer wreath. So this was the picture, you can see it, Southern Charm wreath uh, that I made quite a while ago, and uh, it's got a magnificent bow that's all made with one and a half inch ribbon. So I thought I'd come on here this morning and just show you guys. Let me get my point. I always like to be on the 20. Let's see if that shows up pretty good both places. Okay. So, you know, I love my Bodabra. It's my favorite bow maker. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and try this. And again, guys, I'm really not paying attention to comments. I'm going to keep this more like a tutorial. Hey, Pat, I do see a few comments coming through. So, the first layer, it looks like that I started off with is this beige cotton. The difference with this bow is you have very long tails. So I'm going to make the tails about 15 inches long. Okay. So I'm just going to pinch it and put this down in my Bodabra. I've got my twist tie and my scissors laying aside. All right. And then you make a six inch loop. So I'm going to twist it in the Bodabra, pull it over and make a six inch loop. So I'm and you repeat ribbons in this bow. So uh, it's kind of what makes it really unique is you make different layers of the same ribbons. All right, so I'm gonna make a six inch bow on this side. And let me just see if those are the same. Way, 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 way off. Let's see, I need to come down about another inch. Hope everybody's doing good today. Sunday, I wanted to be able to do the live so that's why I'm testing this out this morning. And I thought, what a better way to do it than just to go ahead and do a bow. And I'm just really struggling getting these loops the same size. Uh, we're going to go with that. All right. So you make two loops of this ribbon. And I'm making them six inches. Hope the view is okay this morning, guys. All right. So I'm making two loops on both sides and then I'm going to bring down my tail to match my other tail. So it makes this bow really, really pretty. Is it gorgeous tails? Lots of long tails. I don't know if you can tell from this picture how the bow, how the tails, I have it kind of going off. Um, all down to the side because there's so so many um, tails but uh, this is another like I said it's a custom order so sometimes it's tough to go back and remember what you did for a wreath that's uh, why so I thought this time I'd have the bow on a video <laughs> so if I needed to make it again I would have the video to go back and refer to um, all right so let's put this one aside and then it looks like my next layer was the say that one and again I'm going to make the tails very long so I'm just going to match the tails to the tails I just made and you're going to make another six inch loop kind of get it make sure you keep it straight in there at the base so that uh, doesn't get twisted and you also make two loops on each side with this ribbon. <laughs> Yay, a bow tutorial. <laughs> I know. Hey, we all love to watch people make bows, and I don't always make them on my live. So I thought I'd come on here and do this today for a test. What's a better way to show a test live than to do a bow? All right, so I've got two loops of the black and the white diagonal stripe. I'm going to put my little wand in there, kind of hold it for me while I cut this tail. 
um, you've got plenty of length. Um, oh, I may dovetail them. Why not? I know I'll, I know I'll cut them multiple times. Okay. Now we're going to start changing the sizes of the loops. So I came in next. Now this bow, I actually have another ribbon that I'm putting in that I didn't have in my first one. Hey. Hey, I'm, uh, so I'm going to add this green one that is the green and the cotton because, I mean, in the South, you think a lot of magnolias and cotton, and that's what this is. It's called Southern Charm. So this is going to be for a local customer here in town. And she saw this wreath on a post I had made and uh, just absolutely wanted it for a gift, a surprise present. So I can't say who it's for. Okay, now I'm going to drop down to about five and about a quarter inch shorter. Not a lot. Because you're going to you're going to transition your bows down very slowly. All right, so this one again is going to be about five and a half. And you make two loops with this one. And then just twist every time that you go in your pegs so that your uh, ugly side is up so that when you pull over, hey, Denise, you actually have the pretty side up. And I'm getting comments both on if there's any bad connection problems, y'all let me know. Because I've never had this, you know, this is a my first thing. I've never tried doing the two places at the same time. Uh, like I said, I wanted to do this especially on Sunday because of giving the angel wreath away. All right. So I've done three ribbons and now I'm going to come in. And this is called a cabana stripe. It's just a white stripe with the uh, kind of the burgundy, not burgundy, burlap color. Uh, it adds a lot of pop. So let me look at my picture again. I have three loops on each side. No, that's a different layer. Like I said, it's lots of layers. Long tails. And this set is going to be the same size as the green set. So I'm going to do a five and a half inch loop. You missed the beginning. Yes, this, this bow is all one and a half inch ribbons. There's no two and a half inch ribbons in this bow. Uh, it's lots of tails and lots of loops. Um, it's a very beautiful bow. Okay. It's kind of like a cascade. And, I, and the way I put it on my wreath, I angled the bow to the side so I could keep the length in those tails. Um, so I've just blocked. I hope y'all can see that ribbon always gets in the way. All right. So I've got two loops on that side. And these are at five and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and push these down tight because it gets it's a very large bow. Get these tails down. Now, I know I want to end up with the cotton towards the top. I am breaking up on your end. I don't know if I'll go in my private group, and uh, I was freezing there, too. So, hey, Susie, how are you? Um, Facebook, can anybody in there tell me, are you guys freezing or breaking up any um, while this is doubly going on? I'm hoping not because I really do want this to work. I got two cameras on my tripod, on my tripod. All right. So now we're going to start going down. Get this in here really, really tight. So I think I want the green cotton on the top. So I'm going to come back in in the same order. Yes, it's freezing. Oh, no. Like I said, I don't know if it's our Internet today uh, or or what it is, because it was doing it earlier. Let's see what Pam says over here. Uh, doing good on that side, fine on your end. Hey, Kim, good to see you. Good on your end. Well, I'm not sure why YouTube would be acting ugly. Sherry, are you having any issues? Is it freezing for you? 
Um, so far, the only person that says it's freezing is Pat. So I'm not sure you two. Okay. Now, now we're going to start making our tails a little bit shorter because this is basically we're building a bow. If you felt like this bow was too big to manage, twisting it off, you could absolutely pull this stack out, put in your pipe cleaner, lay it aside, and then start building the second part of the bow. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do it all in one. But if you did, you know, I would just take your pipe cleaner and uh, twist these together and then you can lay the next batch on top. That way it was freezing, but it's OK now. OK, um, that way, you know, you don't have quite as much to handle. But the one and a half inch ribbons are a lot easier to work with. OK, so. So I think I may come back in with this black and white. Anytime you want a bow to pop, put in some black and white. It'll really make a bow pop. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one next. And the tails are going to be a little bit smaller. Let me see what I'm doing my tails. The first set was 14. Let's make these about 12. Let's see if that's a much difference. Yeah, so you see that's just a about a two inch difference so that'll make them all kind of fall out nicely all right now we're going to start really making our loops smaller so to the five and it looks like i only have one loop of each of these colors except for the top all right so i'm going to put one loop of this one at the five and then bring my tail down get my wand in here because it does get really thick. Cut my tail. Let me see if I can match my it's uh, the other ribbon. I do have a two and a half inch ribbon that I'm using actually in the wreath itself. And uh, it's the uh, it's a real pretty ribbon. It's the magnolia leaves with the gray background. So, but this will be in the wreath itself. Uh, it won't be in the bow. Hey, Camilla, good to see you. It's freezing too, watching on YouTube. Um, it might be YouTube or it could be my smaller uh, computer. I have a, a, a computer that doesn't have near the, uh, the capacity on it that my other computer does. So uh, that could be why the YouTube is freezing up. I hope not. Okay, so I've got that one in. We're going to do one loop of this one position a little bit smaller i'm gonna make my tail the same so you're basically you're just now you're building it smaller and smaller on the top so let's go ahead and make this one about a five and a half maybe about a five let's see let's do about a four four and a half because i'm going to put in one more i think and i think that's all i'm going to put in this bow because it has gotten so big you know what? I'm going to make it the same. I'm going to make it the same as the black and white because I actually have two more I want to put in here. All right. So this is at the five. So we started off on the six, guys. Then I went to about a five and a half. And then this layer has been a five. And then bring it down and match my tail. You love the magnolias? I do, too. Uh, I have it, it, the biggest, prettiest magnolia uh, to put in this wreath. It is it is a gorgeous wreath. It's made with lots of uh, creams and the olive greens, uh, you know, and the magnolias. It's wanted it. I guess that's another trick. We need to make sure that if you make something um, that you can come back for what you did. Um, OK, so I really don't want to put this beige stripe on top of that beige. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do two loops of this one and we'll call her done because this one i had it ended up with the uh, cotton on top so i'm gonna come in with two loops and i'm gonna make these loops about four inches that's about what it looks like four inches two loops of four inch 
because I want this like I, I want this one on top. So you see how large this bow is going to be. And it has so many pretty tails. Uh, so it really does. It just cascades and, and shows off. And I'm just kind of scrolling my comments over here. Hey, Sandra. Uh, hey, from Fairview, Tennessee. It's good to see you. Hey, Judy, how are you? Is Facebook still doing okay, guys? Uh, just checking. All right, we're doing look real pretty. It may not be exact to the one I did before because, you know, it's real hard to make two wreaths exactly alike, uh, even if you're the one that created it. All right, so I'm just going to get these down in here really tight because it's going to be a very large stack to pull out. So I'm going to get all these ribbons and put these out of the way so we can put our fluff box up here. Lay my picture over there. Okay, when I go to take it out, y'all say a little prayer because I didn't put my pipe cleaner in to start with. So I did go ahead and cut another pipe cleaner in half because what you can do is extend your pipe cleaner just by twisting another pipe cleaner around it. And this will just give you a little more to attach into your to your wreath. And it will also ensure that I have plenty to go on to the fluff box. So I'm just wrapping this uh, pipe cleaner around the other pipe cleaner, just going around the sides of it. Somebody, I heard somebody say the other day, I really like the phrase. She said, I'm marrying this pipe cleaner to this pipe cleaner. <laughs> All right, let's lift this out. And when I hold it, I hold it with the sides as well. That way I don't lose those stacks, that stack. And then I'm just going to get it as tight as I can get it. If you guys can see, I'm getting that as tight as I can get it. And still holding the sides of the bow. Because it is a very big stack. And then I'm twisting it as tight as I can. All right, let's get the fluff box. Let's see how we're going to fluff it up. Hi, Vicki from Ohio. I am having a great day. Uh, uh, you're in the process of doing two identical swags. Um, I know it's tough to make two. Um, I do have one that I'm waiting on. One of Casey's signs for that I made it identical is a picture of one that you've done before and you've got to go back and try to read it. Uh, that gets to be a little bit tricky. So that's kind of what I told my customer. Um, I told her, I said, you know, I'll try my best. It won't be exactly the same, um, but I'll make it as close to it as I can. And then what I like to do is uh, go ahead and pull all my tails down. And I pull my tail down. Let me see if I can do this at an angle in the same order that I laid them out. So that first set was the cotton and then I did the black and white and then I did the green. Then I did the cabana stripe and then another layer of the black, the cotton and the cotton. So that gives you one, two, three, four, five, six tails. And they're very long and they're going to be very flowy. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, so I'm pulling down my cotton. Then I'm pulling down the black and the white. Then I'm pulling down the green. And then the cabana stripe. and both of the cottons. I always find if I get all my tails down in the same order that I actually put them on, it just makes it easier. Now you see too, I can see how much difference there is in my length. So that's another reason why I don't always dovetail them until I actually start putting the bow because I want my tails to be even. So what I'm gonna do for this bow is I'm just gonna start taking the loops and pulling them apart. There's just two. So I'm just going to pull one loop up, straighten it down here at the base. Hopefully I'm not, if, can you guys see okay? Sometimes, okay, I'll try to pull it up a little bit. Uh, pull one up, one down. 
And I'm going to do the same thing with the black. This time I'm going to pull it a little bit further apart, though. I'm going to pull this one up, down, and just kind of have them. Let's do them like that. Have one resting in the middle of those two. So one up, cotton, black, cotton. Now the loops are going to get a little bit smaller. So we're going to go one up, one down. And these aren't going to cover these loops. Okay. Um, you can never, ever make two exactly alike. Hey, Vicki. Uh, especially when you keep making changes. Yeah, I know. It's tough. These, I'm going to let one rest in the middle of those two. And this one go down this way. So we have two blacks. We have two cottons. And then I added another black and I'm going to twist it this way. Another cotton. Make sure you straighten your bow down here at your base so it's nice and straight. Otherwise, it won't fluff. One thing I love about one and a half inch ribbon, it will to the one and a half inch ribbon. I just love to work with it. Uh, it's just easier to make it go where you want it to go. Okay, so you can definitely change it around so you don't have the same ribbons uh, laying on top of each other. However, you know, you want to do it while you're fluffing it. All right, now we're going to come over and fluff the other side. So I'm going to do one of these up and one of these down. And again, I always go in here and I just to make sure it's not buckled in the uh, in the twist and then I have my black and my white so I'm going to pull one of those kind of towards the middle let's do that one towards the middle and this one kind of up let's do it further apart there we go it's really just a matter of arranging it the way that you like it uh, you know you may not want two of the same falling together so you may completely change up how you fluff it. I just want all of my loops to show. Let this one go in the middle and then these two one up and one down. And then you just really get in there and fluff them. Just take your hands in the loops to lift them up so that all of these pretty loops are going to show in your bow and this definitely all is a cascading pretty bow to go on a southern charm wreath okay and i'm gonna take it off of here and let y'all get a good look but look at that bow what do y'all think that's a i'll try to get it up make another one pat <laughs> it's a it's a gorgeous gorgeous and of course i'll come back in because in this one um, I put some cotton or some uh, little small magnolia flowers throughout it. So this whole uh, wreath will be full of beautiful greenery, beautiful cotton, uh, and of course the gorgeous magnolia. So let's see if I can get this off of here. Is, uh, is it still the view on YouTube okay, guys? Are you freezing over there still? I'm hoping not. Um, on, on my YouTube, it's not as strong. It uh, doesn't have the high speed um, processor like my other one does. All right, so here is our Southern Charm bow. And you see with all the cascading ribbons that go down, when I put it in my wreath, I'll lay it off to the side so that all these gorgeous ribbons will cascade down the side of the wreath. So, there's a bow, guys, made all with one and a half inch ribbon. I think it turned out really pretty. It still keeps freezing. Yeah, I think it's, I think I'm going to have to get a, a I am going to go live simultaneously, guy, guys, Sunday at two o'clock uh, Central Time. I'll be on YouTube and Facebook to uh, draw the winner of the angel wreath. And then for my, um, what I'm going to make on Sunday is I am going to make my winter wreath uh, kit that I just listed on my Etsy shop. 
All right, guys, that was uh, that was my test for today. Just wanted to show you how to make a beautiful bow with just one and a half inch ribbons. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I said, just winning and pretty. I'll make sure that I share a picture of the finished wreath, uh, this custom wreath when I get it done. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off from here. And uh, I'm glad to see you, Sherry. I have been missing getting live on my YouTube channel. I really have. Uh, y'all, y'all be safe. God bless you. And I'll see you on Sunday, guys. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Ending on YouTube and coming over here and bye to my Facebook friends. Love y'all. Y'all be safe today. Thank you. I'll see y'all on Sunday.